Hey guys, it's Angie Rush here, and today I'm doing a story time. I apologize that it's not Friday, it's a little late, it's like Saturday, but this is due to the fact that I have so many exams going on and they're finals, so I kind of need to pass them. Yeah, just saying. How do you guys like this setup? I think it's cute. Let's just jump in. And I'm now going to be calling my story times sleepover story times. I'm going to get in my jammies. I got my jammies on and these cute booties and I'm really excited. Tell me how you, because this is a different setup and I kind of like it. It's really cute and cozy. So let me know how you feel about the setup and how the lighting is and if there's a glare in my glasses please let me know so I can fix this stuff and alternate things. So yeah, let's get into it. Disclaimer, if you hear any noise in the background, my parents have some people over. As you can see by the title, this is really creepy, but it is a how I... <laughs> I just find it really weird. Okay, anyways, I stalked my crush. Um, I really did, and it's not just like creeping through Instagram. Like, I literally stalked my crush and i'm excited to tell you guys that story by the way my lip gloss is definitely popping and i can show you guys how to do that if you would like it makes your lips look bigger um i don't need that but like for all you people who want your lips to look a little bigger this definitely emphasizes them and they'll be your real lips too okay i'm getting carried away with this let's just get into this video <laughs> um so back in middle school this was like my first year of middle school me and my best friend, we, mm, there was this one boy, he was older than us, he was two years older than us in the eldest grade in our, um, in our middle school, and he was so cute to us, like, and we both found out that we found him attractive, like, I was like, yeah, I found him cute, she's like, yeah, me too. First of all, if he watches this, this is so embarrassing because he knows, like, we were creeps, like, we literally were creepy. First she found him really cute, and then I found him really cute, and I'm like, hey, he is really cute. But we were ugly middle school kids, the young ones, and obviously we're not going to get your attention. He doesn't even acknowledge our existence. Like, it was just weird. So we both began to, like, really like him, and we, like, oh my god, it's so creepy. Like, honestly, if there was a guy who was like this to me, I would be like, get out of my face. So there was this, um... We both were like, hey, he is really cute, and we were trying to figure out information about him, which I feel like a lot of girls do, so it's not that creepy. A lot of girls do this in that extent. Uh, they try to find this hot guy. So there is this one girl that came to our school, and we've known her from my friend's auntie. She's like, also like, same age as us. We knew her from her, uh, like she, they were like best friends, and we like, and we noticed that she talked to her. So we're like, you talk to blank? Like, come on, can you say his name? Because, mm, actually, I'll make up one. Roger, okay. Because I'm probably going to slip it, so if I slip it, I am definitely cutting it out. But Roger, we're like, you talk to, that's a really good thing. I don't really like that name. Anyway, I'm like, you talk to Roger, and she's like, she's like, yeah, like, I talk to him, like, here and there. And we're like, oh my god, he's so attractive. And like, she's like oh and we're like what's his name and she's like roger and we're like oh oh my god like he's so cute like you're so lucky right now and she's like uh -huh, like do you guys want me to tell him and we're like what do you tell him we're these random like random middle school kids that like he doesn't want anything to do with like, we're like um no like it's all good and she's like no, no i'm gonna tell him and we're like okay so she slipped a note in his locker and she was like these middle school girls like really think you're cute and she told us or she told him our names and this was after we were creeping him out so he was obviously more scared of us let's go back the reason how we were creeping him out like we found him so cute like we'd stalk him in the hallways and like he'd walk one way and we'd like make sure we know which way he's walking and we'd turn purposely to make sure we like get to lock eyes with him Ugh. at one point we'd like sit on we had like this lunch bench 
and like we'd sit on it and I mean I was a middle school kid I didn't really have my phone and I didn't want to whip that out so I brought my DS to school and I had this jumbo DS and we'd sit back and we'd take pictures of him while he walks by the like guys it was that creepy and at one point like the little because there was like a red light and you know when like the camera's on and he looked into it and we were like snapping pictures and he knew that we were taking pictures of him which is even more creepier and yeah after all this like she like he kind of caught on and was like yo these girls are literally obsessed with me and our, my fr our friend that we thought was a great idea slipped the note in his locker and was like yo like you cute like my friends think you're really cute da -da -da. and he's like yo like he was scared like obviously so he's like yo back up he didn't say anything but he was obviously creeped out by his like expression um we found out his name we creeped his facebook he didn't have instagram we couldn't find one uh we did find his friend's instagram because he had like this whole click of boys and we creeped him and we'd oh my god like i think i need a restraining order but i'm not like that now we creeped him we sent it uh God. We looked through all his pictures, literally once he was a kid and him growing up and we'd send them to each other and we were like, oh my god, he looks so cute here, this and that. And me and my friend plan to marry this guy and we're like it's gonna be the two of us, like like sister wives. Oh my god, this is so gross. Like I hate talking about this. And then the dreading day came, guys, he got a girlfriend. Yeah, he got a girlfriend and we were still creeped. His girlfriend knew to watch the fuck out for us. He like we literally were obsessed with him and we hated his girlfriend, like despised her because she took our man and we creeped her on Facebook. We sent pictures of her to each other. We're like, oh like I hate her. Like blah blah blah. Like he's oh my god, this is so bad. Sorry, like I keep saying that, but this is actually so creepy, reliving it right now. Uh <laughs> So his girlfriend knew and there's like this thing in our school called like a jive contest and it was like a dance contest that we had like every year and then his girlfriend participated and me and her and watched and we hated it. We were so mad and we were waiting for them to break up. We're like they're gonna break up soon, they're gonna break up here, they're gonna break up there. They stayed together for maybe a good six months and broke up and me and Aaron were pleased and happy and we knew because we creeped that Facebook and we found no more pictures and he was single. And then he moved to high school and he was no longer with us. <laughs> Thank God he escaped because we were creepy. Uh, no, for real though. And uh, it was a mess. I'll just say that. It was a mess. And yeah. That's how I creep my crush. And I see him sometimes when I'm like going to the bus station. And I'm like, nope. Like I feel so bad. I was literally creeped when I ruined your... <laughs> I ruined your high school. And junior experience it was even more embarrassing when we got sense and we went to high school and he was in high school too and like we got sense and we're like wow we were really creepy like we took pictures of you and they're still on my DS but my DS I lost my charger so I can't really like show you I will show you in one video I promise you that that I will show you that um, but it was creepy <laughs> it was creepy I will say that and um, <laughs> In high school, it's even more embarrassing because that's when we caught sense, like I said. So, like, when we saw him in high school, we're like, okay, like, <laughs> we were scared he's gonna tell people, and he probably did, and he probably warned his friends. Um, I don't know. And then Halloween one day, he was Obama, and his friends were like his entourage, and they played the music, and we're like, oh my god, he's so hot. Like, in junior high, like, it's so creepy. And we'd like make sure to follow them and we're like standing behind the big group and we're like following them and we're like oh my god like can we be you <laughs> can we be next to you <sighs> yeah and his girlfriend we were like she's still ugly i don't really know her name i don't remember anything about her so i don't recall um she was a gymnast and stuff so we're like oh like we need to learn all these gym tricks oh, it was bad it was really bad as you guys can hear and tell and like in high school, yeah, like I said, like we were nervous, we're like, is he gonna tell people? Are people gonna think we're creeps when we all was a phase. It was a phase. And now I look back and I'm like, he's really not even that cute. Like we were like acting like he was like the top of the school, like freaking Justin Bieber. No, he really isn't that cute, you guys. And I wanna show you guys a picture, but I don't have the right to. And if he came across the video, I could get in trouble. So I don't wanna like message him and be like, hey, do I have permission to use your picture in a video? And he'd be like, like are we doing this again like no 
I apologize to you, Roger. You know who you are if you came across this video. And I hope you're doing well in like post-secondary because I know you're doing that. Yes, that's my story on how I stalked my crush. <laughs> it's really creepy, but it happened and it's real and I'm the first to admit and I know it's creepy and I've learned now and it's never going to happen again, I will assure you that. I will probably creep my crush's Instagrams, but that's normal, right? Like, that's normal, not taking pictures of them when they don't know. Like, <sighs> I'm getting my DS charger. I lost it, but I'm going to find that charger and I am going to show those pictures because those were so embarrassing. Like, uh, and all you'd hear is like the when we take the picture. Ugh. God, the people on that bench are probably like, what the fuck are you doing? But it's a real story, so I don't know. I, I can't be ashamed. I can be ashamed of this now. Before, this was like a normal reoccurrence and this was our hobby, so yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for listening to this story. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me if you've ever stalked your crushes or anything. Like, even mild stalking, like, let me know so I can feel somewhat better about myself because this is, this is really embarrassing. And yeah, thank you guys so much for being patient. Thank you for watching my video. And I will see you guys on Monday with a video. I think it's going to be like a fresh face make, um winter face video so look out for that and yeah thank you guys so much for watching again uh yeah bye guys and remember it's not goodbye it's see you later and bye from my booties bye